everything inside me. In May 2020, as the CV-19 had caused global panic lockdowns far beyond the initial outbreak in Wuhan, the British Crown, Prince Charles, together with the World Economic Forum founder, Klaus Schwab, unveiled what they gleefully named, the Great Reset. Increasingly, world political and business leaders are using terms such as the Great Reset, or the Fourth Industrial Revolution, and the call to build back better which the Biden administration prefers. They all are anchored on the same set of dramatic global changes. The US Green New Deal and the EU European Green Deal are all part of it. The most striking fact about the agenda of the Great Reset is that it is being advanced by the same giga-rich plutocrat families responsible for the flaws of the present world economic model. They, not we, have created ruin of organic fields and nature with their Roundup glyphosate and toxic pesticides. They have ruined the air quality in our cities by the transportation models they force on us. They created the free market model of globalization that has ruined the industrial base of the United States and the industrial EU nations. Now, as they blame us for an alleged catastrophic emission of CO2, we're being conditioned to accept guilt and be punished in order to save the next generation for Greta and friends. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Behind the seductive rhetoric of the powers that be, on creating a sustainable world, lies an agenda of raw eugenics, depopulation, on a scale never before tried. It is not human, in fact, some call it transhuman. In 2016, World Economic Forum head, Schwab, wrote a book titled, Shaping the Future of the Fourth Industrial Revolution. In it, he describes the technological changes coming with the Fourth Industrial Revolution of 5G smartphones, Internet of Things and artificial intelligence, that link everything to everything to make the most banal decisions for us, such as buying more milk, or turning down the stove. At the same time, data is centralized in private corporations such as Google or Facebook to monitor every breath we take. Schwab describes how new generation technologies, already being rolled out by Google, UI, Facebook and countless others, will allow governments to intrude into the hitherto private space of our minds, reading our thoughts and influencing our behavior. Fourth Industrial Revolution technologies will not stop at becoming part of the physical world around us, they will become part of us, said Schwab. Today's external devices, from wearable computers to virtual reality headsets, will almost certainly become implantable in our bodies and brains. Schwab adds, what the Fourth Industrial Revolution will lead to is a fusion of our physical, digital and biological identity. Among those fusion technologies are, active implantable microchips, that break the skin barrier of our bodies, Schwab explained. These implantable devices will likely also help to communicate thoughts normally expressed verbally, through a built-in smartphone, and potentially unexpressed thoughts or moods, by reading brain waves and other signals. I don't know about you, but I am not eager to have the state or Google read my brain waves. The confusing aspect for many is, the plethora of front groups, NGOs and programs which all led to the same goal. The drastic control over every member of society in the name of sustainability, UN Agenda 2030. Nowhere is it more ominous than in their plans for the future of our food. After creating the present system of globalized industrial agriculture, Agribusiness, a project begun in the 1950s by the Rockefeller Foundation, the same circles now advocate sustainable agriculture, which will mean a shift to genetically edited fake foods, lab-made synthetic meats and such, even including worms and weeds as new food sources. The West Schwab has partnered with something called EAT Forum, which describes itself as a Davos for food that plans to set the political agenda. 
EAT was created in Sweden in 2016, with support from the UK Wellcome Trust, established with funds from GlaxoSmithKline and the German Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research. Lab-grown synthetic gene-edited meats are being supported among others by Bill Gates, the same one backing Moderna and other genetically edited vaccines. EAT works among others with Impossible Foods and other biotech companies. Impossible Foods was initially co-funded by Google, Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates. Recent lab results showed the company's imitation meat contained toxic glyphosate levels 11 times higher than its closest competitor. In 2017 EAT launched Fresh, food reform for sustainability and health, with the backing of Bayer AG, one of the world's most toxic pesticide and GMO producers that now owns Monsanto, the China-owned GMO and pesticide giant Syngenta, Cargill, Unilever, DuPont and even Google. This is the planned food future under the Great Reset. Forget the traditional family farmer. In his 2020 book on the Great Reset, Schwab argues that biotechnology and genetically modified food should become a central pillar to global food scarcity issues, issues which CV19 has exacerbated. He is pushing GMO and especially the controversial gene editing. He writes, global food security will only be achieved if regulations on genetically modified foods are adapted to reflect the reality that gene editing offers a precise, efficient and safe method of improving crops. Gates, a project partner with Schwab since years, has argued the same. EAT has developed what it refers to as the planetary health diet, which the World Economic Forum champions as the sustainable dietary solution of the future. But according to Federic Leroy, a food science and biotechnology professor at University of Brussels, the diet aims to cut the meat and dairy intake of the global population by as much as 90% in some cases, and replaces it with lab-made foods, cereals and oil. This is just a hint of what is being prepared under the guise of CV-19 lockdowns and economic collapse, and 2021 will be a decisive year for this anti-human agenda. The introduction of AI, robots, and other digital technologies will enable the powers that be to dispose of hundreds of millions of workplaces. Contrary to their propaganda, new jobs will not be sufficient. We will become increasingly redundant. This all seems too surreal until you read from their own descriptions. The fact that the cabal of the world's most influential corporations and billionaires sit on the board of World Economic Forum with Kissinger's student, Klaus Schwab, along with the head of the UN and of the IMF, with the CEOs of the world's largest financial giants including BlackRock, Blackstone, Christine Lagarde of the European Central Bank, David Rubinstein of Carlyle Group, Jack Ma, richest billionaire in China, is proof enough this great reset is not being done with our true interests at heart, despite their silky words. This dystopian agenda is 1984 on steroids. CV-19 was merely the prelude. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.